attack one, it's just basically teabag Kimura. The first one, the um, control one, is one when we've like tried to pass the guard and we've just kind of missed, and we're just, we can just kind of grab the arm as we go over. Or you can set it up, or you might end up in a scramble, or you might end up on the bottom half guard or side control, and you just see that arm and you grab on. That's the really important one, because if you can start to get that one, Kimura trap and all that shit will just, will just come to you, and the attack will also seem very easy as well. Excuse me, I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, so if you just grab your partner, let's give you a right to straight down again there. And we'll just look at, we want our hips, we always want to lie in that, um, I think Danaher calls it Tikamora position. So if I lie with my dick right behind his hair there, my bottom arm, I'm going to slide it right underneath his um, shoulder. And my top arm, I'm going to grab hold of the wrist. I'm um, lying on the ground for this because when I grab hold of the wrist, I actually want two of my fingers to be in his palm. That way I know that I'm actually holding the wrist. This is just Lego man grip. Now this bottom one's gonna be right near his ribs. The first thing I do is I'm pulling up in his armpit and then I push his hand down like I want him to grab his own dick. Then I'm gonna take my thumb out and go hook grip and then hook grip over the top of my own wrist. And I don't know if you can see, but I squeeze my elbows together so that I'm actually clamped on his shoulder. So now if he starts to run, like run towards me, I mean, that's the real obvious one. So if he comes up, like running up, 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 I can get underneath him and I can look to take his back. That's the really obvious one. That's like the more attractive. But if you try to do that with strong arms, I'm sorry, bro, and I like go, oh, this is a bad position. I know a Kimura grip's really sick and I hold it in really good. And then he does the exact same thing. Oh, and now he's already got my arm to re-arm bar me back. Okay, so if I go to the other side, you can give it a shot on both sides because you can't, if you're in a bad position, and when we're talking about control, we're always in a bad position, like I'm lying on the side with no control except for this grip. If I'm holding his forearm, it's going to be no good. If I'm holding his hands, he'll be able to do a little squid move and get out of it. I want to actually hold the wrist bone. I feel two fingers in his palm. That's how I know that I've got it. As I grab it, I'm pulling my other hand up underneath his armpit, shoulder, and I put my hips either underneath his head or right behind his head. So I'm on my side and I squeeze away. Now if he tries to run towards me, he tries to run away from me. It's actually like quite controlling. If I panic and go, oh, he's better than me, and I go, oh, then he's armbarring me. So that's that one. Number two is our attack. So our attack, maybe, maybe the same here. You can, so you can have a go with your straight arm, control it. And now if you're in this position, maybe he gets sick of it. And me, if I'm in this position, you won't see me trying to jump up. What I'll actually try to do is half give you my back. I know that you want your elbow to squeeze together, so I'll try to stuff my head between your biceps. So if he's there, try to stuff his head between my biceps, I'll just go and shrink out, come up, and just for the sake of it, I'll just lie on the side, which is pretty standard. I want this knee to go over his bicep, and pull it back a little bit. I want to pinch my knees together, while well, everyone's seeing this. Pull it up, because I'm kneeling on his bicep, that keeps his other shoulder down, I pull all the slack out of it, and then slow it down back. Don't worry about the grip, because remember, even if I've knelt over his bicep there, and he's got that grip there, it's really easy. You can just go, ah, hold on. Everyone knows that one, that's pretty easy. But just have a little bit of a play around with the control one. If you're really good at doing it on one side, switch it around and do it on the other side. Just give that grip for about two minutes. Two, two, one. Especially when it's here, and that sort of thing. They'll either be holding like their bell or the inside of their thigh. Some guys will even grab around the top of their leg. Most of the time it's the inside of the thigh here. And maybe he's like hanging on to his hands are really tight, but I just don't feel like I can get it. I want to like lean really hard on him. And now I'm going to let go of his wrist and put my hand. This is where you can change his wrist. So this is more of a like attacking style. You can even put your hand up there. If he's got a really long body, he's on his body. So I'm holding my forearm and I'm holding his um, leg. What I'm just going to do is lean on him, come up onto my toes a little bit, and then this will take you a few sort of goes. What are you going to do? It's just, the first time you do it, just kind of leave your hand on the hip. You swing your leg all the way around. Put your as your leg goes under, you put your hand back on the hip. You grab your inside thigh, and then from there, hands going down behind the hip. My other foot's coming back in front of his face. And if he hangs onto the grip, it doesn't matter. I'll just do a bicep slice for him. It's up to him like that. <laughs> <laughs> so here, really tight. I can't get anything going. I really do want to try it a few times and I do want to be like in there with my knee. I've got to sell it to him 
then at the last second, I'm just gonna go boom, boom. Oh, that's just come right out. <laughs> I'll just get it normal. Which is sometimes what happens when you've done it. People go, ooh, and they let go. And this has got the easiest Kimura in the world. But for the sake of the exercise, he's gonna be hanging on really tight. I'm really trying to get it. Block, step all the way around, catch the top of my leg, hand blocks behind his hips, put a oh, sheen or knee in front of his face, and don't go really fast when you do this. You don't want to spin, just kind of turn this way. When I'm doing it too, I'm actually like sitting, like I'm doing an Eckersley hold kind of amount on him, and I'm just sliding off, 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 off. And if he's got Last one. So Tikamura, here, boom, step all the way over, grip. City, city, place, turn, 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 turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's See, when you get somebody that's done a bit of wrestling and that sort of stuff, and they're really trying to stick it to you, what they want to do is swing, like come charging back up onto you, and they want to be throwing like an underhook as they go. You can do it from the, the bottom of side control if you're happy. You can do it from sort of like the bottom of half guard. Like you can get them in the bottom of half guard. I don't really care at the moment, just because otherwise we'll be here all day. But let's say he's there. And I'm here, I'm a bit loose, and he's just started to power up into me, and you see how he's like coming up on an underhook here. If he catches my knee and barrels me over, I'm kind of fucked. Unless I do the right thing and jump onto a guillotine. I can jump on the other side because it's more natural for me. So he comes up this way. So he comes up with his underhook and he's driving me. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna step this leg up and I'm gonna let him take me down. As I go though, I'm gonna reach my hand under and grab hold of his chin. This hand's gonna go through here and grab the back of my hand. As I go, well, actually, I better talk about this grip. And then, then, this is the Uday Castles, this is the one that this is, what would have absolutely ripped my head off there when I was chewing on the tongue, <laughs> is um, this grip that's underneath his um, hand here. If especially, if they pause there for a second and they try to pull that hand off, they'll grab hold of your wrist and it kind of pulls your wrist that way which is the way I actually want it to go. So this hand's just reaching down there like this. This hand's holding onto his chin. And as his um, left hand comes up and starts to pull my wrist off, I'm just gonna turn my hand and stuff it through and I feed it into my other hand. So I'm like, this, this hand is grabbed back to front. Because what it does is it puts my whole wrist and some of my forearm right underneath his chin or if he chuck, tuck, tucks his chin or turns his face in towards me, it goes across his face. Don't do that while you're drilling, it really fucking hurts. Um, we're just gonna nip this up. Um, for the sake of the exercise, if you haven't done it before, it feels really weird. If you've done it, if you've done like arm and guillotines before, mm. it's a piece of cake. But I do want his arm up here, I want this grip here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just taking my hands off for demonstration purposes. I'm going to drop my knee right across his hip, and I'm going to throw this foot over into the back there. So it's kind of like a guard. I want to actually pinch my knees together and dig my heel in as soon as I do it. So I'm holding here. My hand goes through, he starts to hand fight, or even if he doesn't, I don't care, I'm just going to jam my hand in there. Step up, drop through, drop through. And now to finish, I definitely, I definitely don't go back down. I want to lie on my side, and I want to try and look up towards the roof and put my ear in on his back, squeeze my knees, pull my knees, pull my feet, and at the last thing I do is just squeeze my hands. I'm like over-exaggerating how slow that I'm doing it. When you do it to your training partner, do it nice and slow, <laughs> it comes on lightning fast. It's not like an arm and guillotine where you really, if your hands are like that underneath, you really have to kind of squeeze. This one's just like, mm. so it's legs, knees and legs and everything all together and in, ear in towards their back. I'm holding like I'm looking at my watch and just pulling it all together. So maybe it's just on their knees, just stay on their knees. He shoots the underhook in, like I'm going over, He maybe he's on his side. I'm here like this, and he starts to power up towards me, shoot the underhook in. Boom. Happy days. The grip's really sick. If you like the um, normal guillotine grip, just go with that. And as soon as they start to hand fight, you just go, just shove through like that. Like you're um, screw dri <laughs> driving in a screw or something like that. Easy. The best way for me to actually grab my guillotine is to jump full guard because if I can jump my, my guard completely closed when I've got it, he's not going to be able to <laughs> run around. So if I had this grip here like this and I jump here, I can take all the time I want, 
but I can squeeze the leg and it can't go. Because I've got, I don't know whether it's just lack of dexterity in my, in my legs or lack of flexibility or they're just too short and stumpy, but I just really struggle to grab their head and then get my legs all the way around their body. So people that are used to being guillotined, they tend to flop onto their back and run around the side. <clears throat> When we do this, let go of the grip, because it, it's, it's nasty if you don't, like, yes. <laughs> if, it, if you've got really long arms, maybe hold on to the grip, but I don't have really long arms, so I need to let go of the grip, and then, and then reset the grip when you get to mount, okay? So I'm here, and I've jumped here, and I've gone here like this, and what he's done is just roll over onto his back there like that. If I dilly-dally around, he's gonna sort of push up and try to come back up on top of me, and that sort of thing. So as soon as he flicks around there, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look straight back at his legs and run my feet over into mount. You can see I've let go of the grip there for now. Because if I can, now you can like lift your hips up and then lock this back up, but just do it nice and gently. Actually just have a go at finishing it one hand because with most people that's actually enough. The way I actually want to do it though is I want to keep my knees wide pull my heels back towards my butt. If you've got really long legs, it's a great idea to cross your ankles, bring your heels back, squeeze your hips in, and then lift his head up. Because that way, it just seems to create way more pressure. And really quick, pull your elbows back in and turtle up, mm. super tight, like in here like this, like super, super, super tight, and they're really just being, being a bit of a dick about. While it's kind of, it's keeping them safe for the interim, it's also not very, it's, it's not giving you too much to worry about as, on the, as far as the tax are concerned. So what I can do in here now is, oh, and here's another little thing that Paul kind of mentioned before, is I know your hands might fit into these holes, but don't go sticking your hands into holes for no fucking reason. Because people do this to me all the time when I roll. They'll, they'll be here like this, and they put their hands in here. It's just, this is giving up, just giving up position. So it's a far better idea, if I'm here like this, and he's been a bit defensive, he's not coming onto me, he's not giving me anything, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna reach my fingers around. If I can feel his teeth with that, with, um, with my fingertips, that's perfect. And as soon as I do that, I'm just gonna loop my elbow over the back of his head. Don't do this super well with your partner, right? And sort of start to turn his head like this. As soon as I'm doing that, I'm gonna like look around, try to catch hold of, hold of his foot, and he's up on his toes, I want to start pulling him forward. Before I do that though, generally, just going to get the tighter so it makes a bit more sense work, I'm going to put my, the knee that's on the same side of his head up on his um, knee, on his um, top of his knee, and I'm just looking to jam it in. So I'm kind of pulling his hip this way, pulling his head that way, and I'm jamming my knee in. When I jam it in, I'm wanting it to slide down the ramp that he's created with his own right leg. So here, Grip. I've got this foot, I've got my knee up in position. I've got that foot, I can put it out there behind me. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Yeah, if you guys can see, <coughs> my knee's pretty much close to where his chin is, and my other hand is on his um, teeth. It's actually not much of a reach, just for me to undo my fingers and grab the inside of my thigh there. As soon as I've done that, I can let go of the foot. Now this hand's gonna come back here. You can get the same grip that we've been working with. Depends on the size of the person. You can grab your fingers together, Personally, I just like to grab my fingers together like that. I've got shorter arms though, so if you've got longer arms, you can do the other grip that we're doing before. And now all I'm gonna do is the exact same footwork as we did before, especially the folded foot. That makes it nice and easy from here. <coughs> yeah, it's a little bit different though. So I squeeze and pull, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going, rather than bringing my ear in, I'm actually just gonna extend. So this one I actually like to extend. It's because it's not a guillotine. A guillotine's just your arms holding on their head. This is this has got our that's got his arm in, so it's kind of like a back to front arm triangle or whatever. <coughs> so here, 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 pull, 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 grab. Now sweet, just flop back. Here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So in this position, I'm hanging on to his chin here like this, and he's just not giving me anything. I'm just going to race around here, put my foot behind his butt, grab hold of his, of his foot, and then I'll start to jam my knee in there. I'm just looking to push his elbow out. Whether I get his elbow out or not, I don't really care. 
once my knee can feel, I can feel my own fingertips, I grab hold of my knee just for a second. I'm holding the inside of my thigh, and as I do that, let go, slide around, lock my fingers in together, and then I just do the exact same thing with my legs be as before. So knee up, foot over, and instead of crunching in, I pinch everything together 